Welcome to Delhi! We are in Delhi, right where I'm living. Right behind me I thought I should show you the first major big icon, India Gate. And it's a war memorial, one of the best icons of Delhi. And as you can see it's really crowded too. But it's beautiful because it's sunset and it's nice. It's even better at night when the lights go up and it looks even more spectacular. But for now it looks just fine too. A war memorial dedicated to all all of the soldiers that we lost during our first, well, during the World War. But I wanted to show this as a first major icon. And the walks from here on will not include the major cities, but because I get much less time to vlog, what I'll be doing is I'll change the way I vlog. So this will include more of, more of, Land, landmarks and places inside Delhi as well as maybe hot spots places to be also uh, restaurants those kind of things and I will need your help because I don't know all of the places here I'm exploring Delhi myself so it's going to be very good if I can get some good feedback so I thought I should start with one of the biggest icons India Gate and from here on I'll be showing you the rest of other landmarks and towards the end of this this video I'm going to put in a lot more pictures and a montage of all the places I've been to in Delhi but I've not recorded it I'm going to start recording it from here on and create new blogs new content everything from scratch just for you so that you have a better viewing experience and that way I can keep the content coming up too in vlogs and also show you more around Delhi because I might not be able to go around cities as much so I want some content to come out Hindi maybe bolunga I'll speak in English we are going to go ahead to uh, Pahar Ganj next tonight so I'll show you a little bit of Pahar Ganj I've not been there myself so I'm just going to take some tips and then show you around as much as I can. But hey, I'm really excited because this is Delhi, baby. Look at this. It's chaotic, but it's going to it's going to be that's the flavor of the city. So I'm really excited for this uh, Delhi series. So let's see. Okay, I'll see you in the next place. Just in Bhad Ganj now, and you can see behind me there's so many hotels and bars. This, this is the street that I saw in the picture when I was looking up Hot Gunge on the internet. And, well, it looks pretty much bright. This street, this market street is one of the brightest market streets I've seen in Delhi. So, it looks amazing. And I'm going to try one of the restaurants or places here. A lot of bars here. And it reminds me of... Uh, they say it's a very hippie place or used to be a hippie place. I don't know how much of that is true, but it sure looks bright. Look at all that. So I'll check in somewhere and keep you updated. I either want to go up there on top of Krishna Cafe or that cafe over there because I think the view from there or there is going to be really good and fantastic overlooking this this big street this large street so I'm going to go on top of one of those and then give you a view from there let's see how it goes so here I am on top of Krishna cafe I'll add a link to it in the description if you want to come check this place out right on the edge of this long street this long market street 
and there's a railway station at the end towards the right and if you want some choice in going to some other uh, rooftop cafes there's exotic rooftop cafe right on the other side and you've got another one I think it's called Shelton right up there but I'll let you know how food is here although I'll just ask for uh, a Nutella pancake and masala chai with that so I mean a Sprite Hey listen, if you want to come to Krishna Cafe, the rooftop's good. And if you want to have a view of the street, this is good too. We've got a nice sit-out area here. I like those chairs. They look great. Thank you, Baya. Walking right through Market Street in Bad Ganj. And I don't know why there are so many different. Uh, why there's so many hotels here in a very tight place, and maybe it's because it's also very close to central. Like uh, Connaught Place is not too far from here, so maybe that's one of the reasons why there's so many different uh, budget hotels. They say it's also a backpacker central location, so a lot of. Uh, backpackers come here too so almost everything here is kind of catered for them including clothes textiles restaurants different places keeping them in mind nonetheless I give it a thumbs up so 600 rupees and you get an air conditioning room so that's in euros that's about uh, six pounds or six euros and in Indian rupees that's 600 rupees and you get a air conditioning room so not a bad deal if you're a backpacker anything would do as far as you get a bed and you get an AC as well an air conditioner is great